So can you educate our audience a little bit about what is this ICP and why is it so important, the pupil asymmetry yeah. that you said? Can you tell so us a little bit on basically that? Basically, we'll keep it very simple. Keep it very, very simple. calm. Just so they understand the importance so you, of this. You think of your uh, skull as a fixed box. Correct. Okay. Hmm. The box has a fixed volume. Correct. Non-expandable. Non-expandable. Hmm. It is a fixed volume. Correct. So there are four things which are there inside the box. Hmm. One is your brain proper, hmm. your CSF, hmm. Your arterial blood mm. and your venous blood. Mm. These are the four things mm. which are there. Mm. Each one has which a, occupies which that. occupies. Mm. It has a fixed proportion. Mm. Mm. You cannot alter with it. Mm. So if you want to alter, if one increases, the other one has to give up. Compensate. Compensate. Like marriage, mm. they are all married. Mm. <laughs> all four of them are living in the same house. Yeah. We have to compensate, adjust, and go around. If one person is becoming bigger the other person has to compromise just money self adjust money and the self adjust money la andre guarantee divorce divorce illo angene so if the brain is expanding so either the csf should go out what do you call as mm. ventricles have to compress the brain fluid or your venous return has to reduce the blood has blood to. has to go mm. something has to go correct so this thing is called as a munro kelly doctrine so this entire space is fixed if one component increases the other component has to reduce some compensation So that is what we tell secondary brain injury correct